when Kim and I met, she had two dogs, and one of the things that she would always do would be, wherever we were shopping or what have you, was looking for cool collars for them. It was always really important to her. And a lot of times that was almost impossible to find. So uh, we started thinking about making our own, and uh, we were putting them on foster dogs that we were fostering for National Humane Society. And uh, the business kind of started from doing that. Hemp is hypoallergenic because it's grown without herbicides and pesticides. And we've heard from many customers with itchy allergic dogs uh, that have had dogs that were losing fur around their neck. They've tried everything and a hemp collar seems to be the answer time and time again. Since we started in 97, we've continued to use a team of local sewers who work in their own homes and keep our products handmade here in Nashville. We started our family. She's got your name, she's got my face, ten fingers and toes, and now two hogs. We live and work with our pack of 16 rescue dogs, so obviously we've been affected by the pet overpopulation problem. We believe wholeheartedly that spay and neuter is the only solution. So we started Cody's Fund, which is a nonprofit that receives 10% of all of our proceeds to fund spay and neuter programs. First and foremost, we're dog owners. Earth Dog started with us making collars for our own dogs, and they continue to wear our collars and use our products. The patterns in our decorative line are all named for our dogs, um, some of who have gone on, uh, and it's a sort of ever-turning wheel. Uh, but their images and names and so forth are always threaded, you know, throughout our product. Our business started really with boutique shops and uh, little mom and pop shops and so we've always remained loyal to them and have made a commitment not to sell the big box stores or um, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, big box websites. We're a small family business and that's what we like.